Alright guys, how's it going? So this is going to be a very basic tutorial today and I've not actually taken a look at the bisect tool. Now this comes under the edit mode and it's a pretty old tool to be honest. In fact, I remember a few years ago Gleb Alexandrov kind of used it for making low poly rocks so we'll kind of replicate that, let's not pretend I'm a genius here. So what he essentially done was he'd done a subdivision on a box, let's make it 3 for example. Let's apply and let's quickly jump into edit mode by pressing tab. So the mesh is selected. In order to use the bisect tool, it comes underneath the knife tool. So if we hold this in, you can see here, bisect. Now you may notice up here in the top left that we have a few kind of options. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click and drag and make a nice cut. I'll open up the dialog box down here and I'll enable fill and I'll enable clear out just to give you an example. Now, if I take fill off, it won't fill in the polygons in between the cut. If I take clear outer and swap it around for clear inner, it kind of reverses it to be honest. Very simple stuff. Now you may notice that we can control the plane point here and the plane normal. But we also have a gizmo, so if I select the yellow handle, this will control the plane point. If I select the green kind of circle, that will actually control the normals. And that's pretty much the basics of the tool. Now what Gleb done here is he basically selected the mesh. And it pretty much just repeated the exact same process over and over, just selecting the mesh, making quick cuts like this. Now, I'm being quite rough to be honest, but who cares? Now, one thing I actually suggest is the carver tool is pretty cool for doing things like this as well. And you don't need to constantly keep selecting the mesh, but it's not a problem. So we have something like this, a nice basic shape. One thing we can actually do is we can tab into object mode, and I'm going to actually add in a modifier. And I'll add in the remesh modifier. Now what I'll do here is I'll actually change it to sharp and I'll just quickly put the depth up and we get something like this. And let's just enable cavity so we can see what's going on. Looks cool. Now another step you could really do is you could actually go into something like the sculpting program. You could do a quick remesh as well here. So you could do something like 0.01 and let's do a voxel remesh on the object. Let's take off symmetry, and then you could use something, for example, like the scrape tool. Now, I didn't really want this to be a rock tutorial, but we might as well. And we could quickly scrape down the object. Now, the mesh looks a little bit high, but we can easily decimate this later on. And we get something like this. Pretty cool. And if you're really fancy, what you can do is you can shift D to duplicate. And you can quickly scale things up. And you end up with a pile of rocks. Essentially, that is the bisect tool. I do apologise for slightly diverting there. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Support me in Gumroad. You know what to do.